body's at rest, we may say it is in a state of static equilibrium. And the first condition is the sum of the forces to the left are the sum of the forces to the right. And the sum of the forces up, the sum of the forces down. Here's a question. We want to find the tensions in the two strings. So first of all, we draw a free body diagram. So we will call this string T2. You could call it T1. It doesn't matter. I'll call it T2. And uh, the tension in this string we'll call T1. And we have the weight acting down. Next, we break the vectors into components. And you can see the yellow lines. These are the components. If this is 50 degrees here, then you need to know that this also is 50 degrees. And if this is 35 degrees, then in there, that angle is 35 degrees. Now we can find the components. Let's start here. This vertical component of T2 is the opposite, so it's T2 sine 50. This one here, the horizontal component, would be T2 cosine 50 degrees. For T1, we have T1 sine 35, and then T1 cos 35 for the horizontal component. Now we set up the equations. Again, every force up equals every force down. And there, to the left, T1 cos 35 would equal T2 cos 50. There isn't anything else acting to the left or to the right, and so we set those two equal. T1 cos 35 degrees, T2 cos 50. Acting down is the weight. There isn't anything acting down except the weight. Acting up, though, we have uh, T2 sine 50 and T1 sine 35. The two of those act upwards. Therefore, the weight equals T1 sine 35 plus T2 sine 50. Now we solve the equations. I'll start with this one here. And I'll begin by isolating T1. So it's pretty easy to do. I will bring cos 35 down to the other side and divide T2 cos 50 by cos 35. I work that out and I find out what T1 is in terms of T2. There it is. Now what I will do is I will take this T2 times and that long number that's there, and that's what comes out of my calculator, and I will now substitute it in for T1 in that equation, because that's what T1 is in terms of T2. And so what I end up with is this equation here. 64 equals T2 times, <laughs> you see it there, sine 35, plus T2 sine 50. Now notice I now have one equation in one unknown. So I work everything out with my calculator. And I find something T2 plus something T2, and I multiply them out, and I'll add them together, and here's what I end up with. 64 equals <laughs> that long number times T2. <laughs> Now it's an easy matter to find T2. I simply divide 64 by that number. Now you should be doing this step-by-step uh, step with me with your calculator, hitting pause. Go back over it and redo everything yourself. We find T2. Once we have T2, we can now substitute that value into either of the equations for T2. I'll plug it in right here in place of T2. I'll take my calculator out, I'll work that entire number out, <laughs> and uh, I will find that T1 now equals this long number there, I just, it's what comes out of the calculator, 
and then I'll round everything off to two sig figs, T1 and T2. Now try the problem again on your own, and then try lots and lots of questions.